All around us, there are radio transmissions flying around. Waves are broadcasted to an area by their sources and picked up by those who want to receive them. However, when waves collide and bump into each other, it can cause interference and problems for devices receiving radio waves. If you are live on wireless internet, then you know all too well that the speed of your internet can be very unstable when you have other wireless devices operating at the same time. Although it's annoying to deal with, it will be helpful to understand why it happens and different ways on how to work around it. As we see, modems that transmit Wi-Fi internet for our home networks operate on the 2.4 gigahertz band, but we also see that cordless phones and microwaves, as well as baby monitors and Bluetooth devices, also live on the 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth. So when these items get activated, especially when your roommate has a hungry stomach to feed, your Wi-Fi internet begins to hiccup. Radio waves emitted from your microwaves collide with the radio waves from your modem, which ultimately leads to packet loss. Oh, and let's not forget the fact that you're also dealing with the Wi-Fi networks from your neighbors. In sum, you're dealing with a bunch of radio signals crowding the air. The reason why everything seems to operate on the 2.4 GHz bandwidth is because it's one of the three radio frequencies that doesn't require a license to use. That's understandable enough, right? It's easy enough to access, so why not? The best way to minimize interference with other radio waves is to directly connect your laptop, desktop computer, or gaming console to your modem using an RJ45 connector, also known as an 8-pin or 8-pin plug, and incorrectly known as an Ethernet cable. By doing so, you're not just minimizing interference, but you're really eliminating interference unless someone chops off the connector. It is the preferred way to play competitive multiplayer games, especially since latency plays a huge role in how well you can aim or react in different situations. Multiplayer games are pretty strict when you disconnect from competitive games, so it's always a good idea to reduce the chances of that happening. An RJ45 connector is your best bet. If you can't bring the modem close to you and you have to leave it in the other room, it's tough luck. But the next best thing you could do is to connect to your Wi-Fi internet over the 5 GHz network. Although the 5 GHz has a shorter range and not many devices support the use of 5 GHz internet connections yet, it's also a less congested frequency. So if your modem and devices support it, go right ahead and jump on the 5 GHz superhighway. If using the 2.4 GHz bandwidth is your only option, then it's certainly worth putting in some effort to try and reduce interference as much as you can. If you use baby monitors, try using monitors that operate on a different bandwidth. Disconnect your smartphone and other devices that also connect to the 2.4 GHz network and turn off any Bluetooth connections nearby. If you competitively game with a wireless mouse, go ahead and get a wired mouse instead. I personally like the Logitech G502. And don't forget that physical barriers such as walls and mirrors can interfere with the signal as well. Try to have your modem as closest to the central location of your home as possible and avoid any corners and walls that have mirrors on them. If you're curious to learn more about radio frequency and wireless transmissions, check out our video on the history of wireless transmissions below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content.